At a time of gift giving and sharing that makes all the world kin, the Cavalcade of America brings you as its gift the simple and moving story of the beliefs of a devout people. One of America's most beloved plays, The Green Pastures. We choose it because it's above the temporary madness that engrosses the green pastures unfold. We hope that it will help you find the peace within that the world without temporarily lacks. It's been 10 years since Mark Connolly found inspiration for the green pastures in Rourke Bradford's book, Old Man Adam and His Children. On the stage and later on the screen, this play and music has brought exaltation and joy to millions of men, women, and children who found in it an expression of the overwhelming faith of the human spirit. At this holiday season, DuPont presents on the Cavalcade of America the first radio performance of the Green Pastures by Mark Connolly with the music of the Hall Johnson Choir. Sunday morning in a sleepy Louisiana town, a corner in a Negro church, ten children and an elderly preacher. children, that's the general idea of what the Bible's like. What's the world look like when the Lord began, Mr. DJ? How, how, how you mean what it look like? Carl, I mean, who was in New Orleans? Dad. Yeah, there was nobody in New Orleans on account. There was no New Orleans. There wasn't nothing on the earth at all. Case for the reason, there wasn't nothing except heaven. Who was around then? Nothing but angels? Mm -hmm. Angels and children. All day long, they had picnics, fish fries, and vile custard. And ten cent cigars for the ages. Heaven being the Lord's pet place, he'd fix it up nice. Yes, sir, I bet that was a grand place, all right. With all them picnics, fish fries. They gotta be kept, ain't they? We can't just say, come on, fish, hop in the pot. You seen that baby of mine around here? A day, yes, sitting up there on that cloud. I declare, that baby must got him flood in him. You fly down here. You want to be put in the sin book? Now, you heard me. Oh, plow can shut you down. Well, you better get him down here quick, sister, so here come Gable. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning Angel. Yeah. I wonder can I interrupt the fish fry and give out the Sunday school PR? Oh, that's all right. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right Cherub. Fly right over here by me. Ah, now then, uh, why are you here? Because he's so good. That's right. Now, who's the big boat? I'm the Lord. That's right. Now, here's your yard. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Gangway. Gangway for the Lord God Jehovah. Oh. Is you been baptized? Thank you, Lord. Is you been baptized? Thank you, Lord. Is you been baptized? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank me, thank you, Lord. Do you bow mighty low? Thank you, Lord. Do you bow mighty low? Thank you, Lord. Do you bow mighty low? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank me, thank you, Lord. Let the fish fry proceed. Little by a custard lord. Thank you kindly. Mmm, this looks nice. How's the fish fry going? Oh, 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 <laughs> well, why don't you shouters give us one of them old time jump up? Anything you say, Lord. So high. My Lord is so high. You can get over here before. You can get up there before. What's 
the matter, Lord? I ain't sure just yet. There's something about this custard. I can taste the eggs and the sugar, but I know what it is. It needs just a little bit more firmament. It's all the firmament we had, Lord. There ain't another drop left in the jug. That's all right. I'll just ride back and pass a miracle. Quiet, Angel. Let it be some firmament. And when I say let it be some firmament, I don't want just a little bitty dab. Let it be a whole mess of firmament. That's the way I like it. Look, Lord, the sheriff is getting all wet. Oh, my. Well, then we got to make a place to drain it off. And look at Leonetta. She's wet to the skin. You angels keep quiet, and I'll pass another miracle. That's always the trouble with miracles. When you pass one, you've got to ride back and pass another. Let there be a place to drain off this firmament. Let there be mountains and valleys. To let there be rivers and bayous to drain it off in, too. As a matter of fact, let there be the earth. Look down there. Do you see, Lord? Yes, Gable. Look my nice, Lord. Yeah. That make my nice farming country. It's a good earth. It ought to have somebody to enjoy it. Uh, Gable. Yes, Lord. I'm going down there. Yes, Lord. You be my working boss here while I'm gone. You know that matter of them two stars? Yes, Lord. Well, get that fixed up. And that spell that fell a little while ago? Tend to that, too. Okay, Lord. Now, angels, I'm going to pass one more miracle. One of the most important miracles of all. Let there be man. Good morning, son. Uh, good morning, Lord. What's your name, son? Adam. Mm-hmm. Let me look at you. Adam, you a nice job. But wait a minute. There's something missing. I know what it is. You need a family. Yes, sir. What is a family, Lord? I'm going to show you. Eve. Yes, Lord? Now, you's all right, Eve. Eve, you take care of this man. Adam, you take care of this woman. You belong to each other. Drink the water from the little brooks and eat the food that's hanging for you in the trees. That is, in all but one tree. That one. There. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I got to be getting along now. I got a hundred thousand things to do before you take your next breath. Just be the kind of children I want you to be. I guess that's about all the important business this morning, Lord. Ain't there nothing you was to remind me of, Gable? The prayers, Lord. The prayers? For mankind, you know, down on earth. Oh, yeah. The poor little earth. I ain't been down there since that rascal Cain killed his brother Abel. Maybe I ought to go down again. I need a little holiday. Might do you good, Lord. I think I will. What time is it by the sun and the stars? Exactly half past, Lord. Well, take care of yourself. I'll be back Saturday. Sunday to be. Where is my sweet man? Where's Jimmy's beef? Now, that ain't my so good. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, stop yeah. that. What's the matter with you, country boy? Where is my sweet man? Where's Don't you know that Jimmy's this is the Sabbath? That's no kind of song to sing on the Lord's Day. Who cares about the Lord's Day anymore? 
People just use Sunday now to get over Saturday. You use awful sassy, little girl. I come from sassy people. We even speak mean of the dead. Ain't nobody ever told you you're on the road to hell? Sure, that's what the preachers say. But I happen to know that at the present time, I'm on the road to the picnic grounds waiting for my sweet papa. Yeah, he is now. Hello, sugar. Who's your traveling man? What's your name, son? Soap and water, country boy. What is your name, son? Cain, the sixth. Hmm. I was afraid so. Is the other young men's all like you? <laughs> Gals don't think so. Come on, let's go, sugar. Come on, high pocket. Where's my sweet name? Bad business. Bad. Hmm. The birds is going about their business all right. Yeah, that's fine. And how are your little flowers making out? We all came along. Yes, and you look very pretty. Goodbye. Bye, Bye. It's only the human beings that makes me downhearted. Oh, Lord, I got to get them groceries. Please, please, please. Well, now, this is more like it. It's nice to see people on their knees praying, even if it is outdoors. Oh, Lord, this smokehouse is empty. Oh, Lord, let me see that little six. Well, that she is, friend. Oh, God, I made that time. Gambling. Here, let me look at them. And with frozen dice. Get out the way, old big boy. I'd rather have my earth people with a bunch of channel catfish than I would with mankind and his sin. I just can't stand sin. Morning, brother. Can I walk along with you? Why, certainly. I declare you look like a good man. I try to be. I'm the preacher here. I don't think I've seen you at the meeting. Well, I just come to town a little while ago and... I've been pretty busy. What's your name? My name's Noah, brother. My house right over yonder. That's my wife standing on the porch. Mm-hmm. Good morning, sister. Morning, brother. You a preacher, too? I am, in a way. Then you got to stay for dinner. We'll be ready in about five minutes. Hurry on now, honey. Well, I'll just go out back around the house and call Shem, Ham, and Jacob. Won't take long. They's our sons. They live just across the way. You got a fine wife, Noah. And you is a good man. I wish there was more people like you. The town is top-heavy with sinners. The whole district's wide open. You know that makes for loose living. Noah, what's the most rain you ever had around these parts? Well, last April, the water come down for six days steady. And the river got so swole, it bust down the levee up above Freeport. Mm-hmm. What would you say was it to rain for 40 days and 40 nights? I'd say that was a complete rain. Noah, you don't know who I is, do you? Your face looks easy, but I don't think I recall the name. Oh, Lord, I should have seen the glory. Noah, I'm going to destroy this world, but not your family. Now, look here. I want you to build me a boat. I want it to look like this. And I want you to call it the Ark. And when it's done, I want you to take two of every kind of animal and bird that's in the country. Take seeds and sprouts. Put them on that ark. Let there be a deluge. Now, we're going to start all over again. Chilling, the rain poured down for 40 days and 40 nights. Then man, when mankind got it going again, for a while he was pretty good. But doggone if he could stay good. It wasn't long before the Lord looked down and there was mankind just as uppity as he ever was. And that made the Lord feel sad. Then one day he got an idea. He was sitting in his office talking with Gabriel. Gabriel, I'm going to try a new scheme. Send in Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Days on the way, Lord. You run along, Gabe. Uh, uh, wait a minute. You going near the big pit this morning? Well, I could go. Just lean over the brink and tell Satan he's a plain fool if he think he can beat me. Okay, Lord. Then I'll spit right in his eye. Come in, gentlemen. Use all expected. Good morning, Good morning Lord. Lord. Morning. Sit down. Make yourselves comfortable. Thank you, Lord. Boys, 
I've been going along on the principle that mankind was something like angels. You could give him something and then let him enjoy it. But he ain't built that way. You were up here in case you were good and kept busy. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give your descendants the best piece of property in the world, if they's willing to work for it. Now, who does you think is the best man to put in charge down there? The holiest, Lord. I want the holiest. Uh, my great, 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 great grandson Moses is a good boy, Lord. I know he is. I had him in mind all along. Moses. Moses, can you hear me in your heart? I want you to lead your people out of bondage and into the land of Canaan. Joshua. Yes, Moses. What's the news from the scout? Good news. The River Jordan is right ahead and Jericho is just on the other side. Moses, we are there. Joshua, you are going to get the fighting men together and take that city before sundown. It's a big city, Moses, with walls all around it. We ain't got enough men. Oh, the Lord will take charge, Joshua. Tell the priests to march around the walls three times and then blow on their ram's horn. What about you, Father Moses? I'm staying behind. Lord's got his plans for me. Goodbye, Aaron. Goodbye, brother. Goodbye. Lord, it's you. Now I guess my work's done. Moses, you've been a good man. I ain't going to do you out of what's coming to you. Come on. You and me's going up this hill to your own promised land. Oh, but Lord, we can't be doing this. Of course we can. But Joshua and the fighting men. I told them to march around the walls of Jericho. The priests and the ram horns are blowing, and then the Lord would tell them what to do. That's I... all right. He's there. Listen, Moses. I'll show you how he's happened them. They did it, Lord. They're in the land. They're chaining at last. But wait a minute. Isn't the Lord with them? Who is this here helping me up the hill? Your faith. Your God. Oh, Lord. You is everywhere, ain't you, Lord? Come on, old man. As soon as they owned the land of Cayman, the people went right to the dogs again. They built the wicked city of Babylon. And that was too much for the Lord to take. That was way too much. Then one day, he couldn't stand it no longer. And when Abel came into his office, the Lord was mad. Powerful mad. But when the Lord was the God of wrath and vengeance, then nobody... Had... What's the matter, Lord? It's that old world down there. Sin... Nothing but him. Every time I've forgiven him, this mocked me. Now listen, you children of darkness. Your Lord is tired. Tired of the struggle to make you worthy of the best I gave you. So I renounce you. Listen to the words of your Lord God, Jehovah. For these are the last words you'll ever hear from me. I repent of these people I have made. And I'll deliver them no more. I hate to see you take on this way, Lord. 
You look so blue sitting there at your dead. Gable, even being God ain't no bed of roses. Keep quiet now. Keep quiet. I'm listening. Listening to what, Lord? To a man. A man down there on the earth. Who is he, Lord? He just wanted the soldiers fighting to defend the walls of Jerusalem. They call him Hezdo. But to me, he's Adam, too. Well, why does he keep thinking I'm going to help him? Hey, he wanted to, Lord. But I said no. Stop your talking to me, Hezdo. Do you hear? Keep your eye out for the enemy. Don't keep looking up to heaven that way. You puzzling me. Don't you know you can't puzzle God? Hezdo. Hezdo. You want me to come down there very much? I'll tell you what I'll do. I ain't going to promise you nothing. I ain't going to do nothing to help you. I'm just feeling a little low. And I'm only coming down to make myself feel a little better. That's all. I'm going down to earth again, Gabe. I'm going to talk with him. just an old preacher from back in the hill. Uh, what you doing here? I, I heard you boys was fighting to hold Jerusalem. I just wanted to see how it was going. Well, it ain't going so good. They got you scared, huh? Listen, preacher, we ain't scared. We's going to be killed, but we ain't scared. How is it that you're so brave? Is we got faith. That's why. But God say he abandoned everyone down here. Who say that? Who dare say that to the Lord God of Hosea? The God of Hosea? Who's he? How come you so puzzled? I don't know. Maybe I just don't hear things. You see, I live way back in the hills. Ain't the God of Hosea the same Jehovah that was the God of Moses? No. That old God of wrath and vengeance? We have the God that Hosea preached us. He's the one God. Who's he? The God of Moses. Well, Hezbo, don't you think there must be the same God? I don't know. Maybe they is. Of course, the God of Moses made Hosea, and I suppose Hosea never would have found out what mercy was unless there's been a little in God, too. Anyway, he ain't a fearsome God no more. Hosea showed us that. Well, well, how you suppose Hosea found that mercy? The only way he could find it. The only way anyone can find it. How's that? Through suffering. They can't lick you, can they? I know they can't. You better get out of here, preacher. If you want to carry the news to your people, it's almost daylight. You want me to take any message? Tell the people in the hills there ain't nobody like the God of Jose. Thank you, Hezdo. For what? For telling me so much. If they kill you tomorrow, I'll bet that God of Jose will be waiting for you. I know he will. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye. I guess I was gone so long, I, I was just way behind the time. Hearted Lord, cause you feel so bad. They think it must be something serious. It is serious, Gabriel. Quiet, Angel. Lord, is the time come for me to blow the trumpet? No, not yet, not yet. I'm thinking about something Hezdo said. How he and Hosea found something. What, Lord? Mercy. Through suffering, he said. Yes, Lord. I'm trying to find it, too. It's awful important. 
important to all the people on my earth. Did he mean that even God must suffer? Open the pearly gates. I want to look down on the earth again. Oh, look at him. They're going to make him carry that cross up that high hill. They're going to nail him to it. Oh, that's a terrible burden for one man to carry. Yes. Yes. That's what he had in mind. Cavalcade of America extends warmest thanks to Mark Connolly, the Hall Johnson Choir, and to Juano Hernandez, who portrayed the role of Delord on our presentation of America's beloved spiritual fable, The Green Pastures. And to the great American family, the 76,000 members of the DuPont Company send their sincerest wishes of the season and ask you to join in counting the many blessings which belong to all of us. The blessing that there is such a time as Christmas and the blessing of peace and goodwill in the hearts of our American people. And now an announcement about next week's program. Next week, the Cavalcade of America brings you an original radio presentation of the story of Will Rogers, written by his friend, biographer, and impersonator, Cal Tinney, who will be the star of our broadcast. Speaking for the DuPont Company, your announcer is Clayton Collier on the Cavalcade of America. This is the National Broadcasting Company.